of selection to be moving on up a little bit higher. We want to remember those who are not here with us today. We, we I know all of, them, all of you don't have a program, but there is someone birthday today, and we want to wish them happy birthday. I don't see Cecil Fuller here today, but she's uh, here. She's back. in the back. Happy time. Anytime we can see another birthday. Yes, That's the best. Thank you, God, Sister Fuller. And I see on the program with Sister Shonda Hamilton birthday also this morning. Brother Whitney Green. And Sister Alfie and your wife. I'm not going to ask you, uh, Deji Jones, hey, I don't you know, but anyway, we want to wish all of them a happy birthday for this month. So we thank God for all of us children, but even, even in our good time, we know that there are always somebody uh, on the sickness, you know, because uh, there's so much sickness in the land, and, and you can look at Maybe somebody in your family. But well, we want to call those names out this morning that there needs prayer. We all need prayer. All right, all right. But these are on the program and we want to call their names. Sister Clara Rowe, Sister Marie Smith, Deacon Curtis Smith, Sister Willie Mae Smith, Sister Wanda Brown. Sister Barbara to be free. Sister Zolita, Zolita Mason. Sister Wanda Cook. My name, Reverend Alan Schreiber. Surely I need prayer. And Sister Mary Lucas. Brother Will Matt Perkins. Sister Jones. And then our friends and family and friends that also need prayer. Look at this, Brother Billy Bridges. And Brothers Jesse Slade, Sister Ruthie Johnson, Brother Daryl Davis, Sister Jane English, Brother Billy Gray, Sister uh, Anthony Walker, Brother Herman Potts, Dr. Nalvin Smith Jr., Brother Lip Johnson, Brother Sister Jasmine Strohmeyer, Brother Willie Robinson, Sister Gwendolyn Ayers, I believe it's pronounced. Sister Robin Jordan. And also we want to uh, on the on the prayer list this morning for the Cunningham family. Um Sister Betty Cunningham, I believe I heard this morning that she's gone on home to be with the Lord. And so all these names, there might be somebody in your family that needs prayer also, but we want to always be mindful of those who stand in need of prayer. So we want to lift them up, but we want to just thank God for us just being here because I heard somebody say just the other day that um, it's good to be on this side of the earth all right, all right. and then on the other side. But we want to thank God again for these names. We want to lift them up when the altar prayer comes and we want to, or maybe somebody in your family, we want to, I don't know all the names that God knows.
all of us are indebted to the Lord for his kindness and because all of us can testify that the Lord been mighty good to all of us. I can't say where he brought you from. But I can only say where he brought me from. It's all right. I know that I have not always been on the Lord's side. Amen. Amen. But through the trials of this life, we yes, yes. realize that it was the Lord always on our side. He has kept us through storms and dangers. Seen and honestly. He's kept us. And we didn't even know anything about him. So that's why he's worthy to be praised. I can't count all the blessings that he has stored upon me, but I can't. I don't have enough fingers or toes to count the blessings. But I know that it was the Lord who was on my side. So we want to thank God again for all the names that have been called this morning and, and certainly we all stand in the need of prayer. All right, all right. Thank God for the altar. Where we can lay all our burdens yes, on the altar. Yes. And leave them right there. Yes, Lord. I heard the choir say that Jesus will, yes, will. take care yes, he will. of all you. I heard the song say that he neither sleeps nor slumbers. Yes. So while we can depend upon him while we are asleep, he's watching over us. Ah, oh, yes. And that's why we want to give him all our love and praise. Because if we all testify, we can say that he's been better to us than we've been to him. All right, all right. Sick is all in his hands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Trouble everywhere. Yes, Lord. But trouble don't last. Always. <laughs> Always. My, 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 Lord. We have a shepherd who cares for us. So that's why we want to put it in this hand. Whatever you stand in need of, he's able to do it all. So we want to pray this morning, not only for the names that have been called earlier this morning, we want to continue to pray for our pastor, under shepherd pastor, Adam, his family and this night and pray for all of us need help from the Lord. So that's why we want to look up to the hills from which come all of our help. All of our help. So if you don't mind, we're going to ask if all of you can stand with us that we might petition the Lord together. And while we're praying and you pray, for whatever you stand in need of, might be sickness, might be bereavement. 
your house to worship your name. In spirit and in truth. Not only is this a sin, but Lord, wherever your people are gathered this morning, add to the church. Add to the church, Lord, as only you can. Now, Lord, it's preaching time. We ask you to just bless me. Tonight. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. Take him out of sin. Yes, yes. Fill him with joy, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Help him to say a word yes, to yes. us that he might, that somebody might come calling out. Yes, Lord. What shall I do to be saved? Uh, let me 
shepherd, uh, he has chosen a great man of God. Uh, Pastor Knight, Bishop Knight, is my friend. We go years back, I won't tell you how many, uh, because I forgot. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but he's a man of God. Yeah. He's, just, he's serious about the word of God. Uh, he and I, we both are employed at the same company. Uh, and, uh, we won't get into that subject, but we do work for the same company. And But he worked on one side of town, I work on the other. But we talk frequently throughout the week. Uh, and, and we discuss many things. Uh, about uh, the Word of God. What I've come to learn about this tonight, he is a walking encyclopedia. Amen. Uh, I, I, I believe he, if you can give him a, you tell him leaf, he's going to give you a scripture about leaf. You say something about carpet, he's going to give you something about carpet. Uh, he, has a, he, he has a memory, he has a ministry, he has a gift that like no other. And, 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 uh, and he's still learning. Yeah. But I'm telling you, the gift that he has, I, I wish I had it. I got to almost have everything on paper. And uh, he can just tell you right from the, his lips, amen. Uh, Bishop Knight is a great man of God. He's, uh, he, he passes, y'all see, it, Zion, uh, not Zion, what do you mean? Not Zion. You went from Mount Zion to Zion. Yeah. You got to go to the mountain if you're here. Come down and get to the Zion. Uh, but the, you know, the other part of the Mount Zion is you got to go down, Lord, that's Zion. But to get up to it, it's called Mount Zion. Okay. All right. So <laughs> yeah. we thank God uh, from uh, Pastor Knight. Uh, he and I go back again, as I said, uh, a long ways. He served under me in my ministry when I was in Greenville. And uh, he served well. Lord blessed him uh, into another pastor when he was pastoring before. And God has elevated him and he has a great vision for God's people. You gotta catch the vision. I say he has a great vision for God's people. You do, you do know God gives the preacher the vision. He didn't give it to nobody else. He, he gave it to the preacher. And when we try to take the vision from the preacher, because we're so inclined and so uh, we have uh, our, uh, our business uh, degrees and we have all of our accolades and stuff and we treat the church like it's an employment place and we take it from the man of God. You don't go to your company and tell them, well, man, I, I know you're home, but I'm going to take this away from the team. I'm going to run it. No, you don't do that. You know? And that's the same way when it comes to God. You got to let the man of God lead you where God blesses him to lead you. Now, I know it don't happen in all churches, but when God bless you with a man to do so, let him, let him lead. So today, the word that's coming to you, you won't be disappointed. He has a word for you that will bless you, to encourage this preacher, to encourage this church. The next voice that you will hear, the next voice, a preaching voice that we hear, that will be a bishop power night. He will come this way and he will direct this service the way God has led him to do so. Say amen as he comes. Come on, church, let us see. Yes, yes. Come on, church, let us see. Come on, church, let us see. 
be in the house of worship. Thank you, Father God, for you to have me. You have been good. Thank you for this another day. What an opportunity, privilege, honor that you have afforded unto us. Lord God, that we able to stand before these your people, such a great people. Lord God, to speak your word. Pray now, Lord God, that you are known as a fresh. We preach your power and we teach your grace. That you may use us to your glory and to your honor. Bless these honorees, Pastor Adams and his wife and family. Father, that we ask you to bless this house. Lord God, bless this house. We ask you to bless this house. Bless this house. We ask that you bless this house. Bless this house. We ask that you bless this house. Bless this house. Thank God like you never done before. Use us to your glory and to your honor. We'll be ever mindful and grateful to give you praise. It's in Jesus' name. Yeah. 
today. Amen. But we just love the Lord today. We honor Pastor Adam, honor his wife, man. Amen. We honor these great men of God, Pastor Praise, man. Amen. I told him, we, you know, we have been looking for him, uh, I would say, probably from the time that I uh, first arrived. And Pastor Adam told me that he was going to probably be here. He was going to do his best to, to get here. And I told him when he got here, I said, you're just trying to get that grand entrance. <laughs> Amen. So everybody can just stand up and amen. Because there's such a demand for him being back in the pavement. So, amen. He's been everywhere, all around in Dallas. Everything just amen. Everybody, everybody, everybody been calling on Pastor Fred, the Pastor Fred, the Pastor Fred. I said, well, when I get to be that big, I can't wait. Amen. I get a demand on myself like that. Amen. But we are. Minister Trey, as well, such a great job. God bless you. Amen. Amen. This morning, and to all our deacons, to my wife, sister, nice and love. Amen. Everybody, see who you are. Amen. I'm about to get all of this stuff out of the way now. Amen. To so my wife, sister, nice and love. To our deacon board, and to our deacon elect. Amen. And to Minister Ivory, and to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. I must say it is good to be here. Amen. amen. I have really been looking forward, anticipating, amen, this time, amen, to be able to come and to share with you, amen, what God has shared with us, amen. It's such an honor to be here. But I won't be before you very long, amen. Time is for spent. Don't want to um, delay any longer. We want to try to expedite. Amen. As much as we possibly can. But I want to, from the verses in which we have read in your hearing, um, and just a few back um, as it relates to uh, how we come, how we arrive, amen, to Jesus here now, uh, confronted, if I, if I could say, uh, uh, his disciples, uh, testing them. Uh, about their discipleship, amen, and testing their level of commitment and devotion, uh, their dedication, uh, not so much uh, to just whatever positions that they themselves are going to uh, one day hold in the body of Christ, amen, but he wanted to test it Amen. That discipleship as to how committed that they were to him. Amen. Y'all agree with me? Amen. You, you know, because many times, you know, people are more dedicated, amen, to positions than they are worthy to work. Amen. You, you take some of our positions yeah. from us and see what yeah. really we have. But though, yeah. amen, a prophet be not very much at all. Amen. But, but when we when we when we get to this point here, I want to, if I could, extract the thought through the thought from verse six to seven. Uh, after Jesus Himself, after conversing with His disciples there briefly, He said, "Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away?" Amen. If I could, for just a few moments, amen, to encourage uh, Zion and to encourage this man of God, amen, I just want to, amen, tell you Zion, amen, stay with your pastor, amen, amen. that's all right, amen. amen, Jesus said, will he also go away, amen, I just want to talk for just a little while, I'll stay with your pastor, amen, because we are living in the time, and living in the era, Amen. That people, amen, are dealing with so much of uncertainty. Yes, yes, amen. Yes. People are going from one place yes. to the next place. Yes. Uh, trying to find some kind of yes. stability. Yes. You know? yes. Amen. Every time you turn around, amen, we always have been faced with the possibility of being let down by something or someone. Amen. Yes. If I could say church, that it all so sad and so uh, often found that not only uh, are we faced with those kind of oppositions and situations in the world, yeah, yeah. amen, but if the truth be told, sadly as it is, it's also found in 
the church. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Because we're living in a time in an era again, church, that, amen, pastors themselves are so money hungry. Amen. So money driven. Amen. We're, we're driven by how many that we hold on Sunday morning. We're driven on how much money that we raise in the offering, other than being concerned with the salvation and the souls of God's people. Amen. The souls of God. Amen. People themselves have grown so weary. They have grown so discouraged with church as usual. Amen. Because they're looking for more than what they're finding. Y'all agree with me? Amen. This morning, what we, we, we find here that as Jesus, amen, was talking to his disciples, telling them to understand who he is and what he has to offer. Amen. I can still hear the Lord, amen, in St. John, the 15th chapter, amen, and let his disciples know that I am the true God. Amen. Understanding that Amen. To be a vine. Amen. We have a lot of, a lot of us out here that are perpetrating to be pastors. But Jesus wanted to know that I am the true vine. Amen. I am what you need. I am what you want. Amen. If you're looking for anything outside of me, and you're looking for the wrong thing, but I am everything that you need.
said, when they heard the doctrine that he was preaching, they found it hard for them to digest. They found it hard in order for them to, to really think about what he was saying. And so they came up with a question, and they said, this is a hard thing. Who can hear it? Yeah. Yeah. And watch this show. I want you to see here.
Jesus Amen Says now to his disciples Since they find This is so hard For them To grasp And to gravitate in their minds He said well Let me ask you another question Since yeah. so you find that So hard Let me see how
and before this perverse generation, Lord God, you be ashamed of all us before your Father and all the kingdom of heavenly hosts. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. But Lord, he may have come now and but given his life to you. Make him a confession, Lord God, that he believed in you, that he trusted you. Lord God, that he's going to rely on you. I pray, Father, in Jesus' name, that even as he come and join in this congregation, that the people will put their arms around him, love him, and embrace him, receive him with warm hearts, Father God, with firm handshake, Lord God, with firm love and a commitment even for him. We pray, Lord God, in Jesus' name, from this day forward, Father God, that you will be his walk, that you will be his call. From this day forward, Lord God, he will let all men know that you're God, and besides you, there is no other God. Lord God, you even told him to let his light so shine. Before me, that they might see his good works. To glorify his Father, which is in heaven. So that you have no place, no power, no more in this young man's life. Father God, he now is possession. He's now, Father God, taking all the share, Lord God, of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father God, we ask him now that you bless his going in.
I almost said something else we ain't got to here, but I was good. I was kind of I was going to say, we'll to the food. <laughs>
Now, God, we ask that you dismiss us from this building and from that presence. Give us traveling grace to our destination. For we don't live in between here and there. So, God, we need you to guide and lead us. 